thank you for hosting us today. You're welcome. <laughs> so uh, we have you today to talk about Clarins DSR actions. Yes. Um, and the very first question would be, can you describe your activity in a few words? Uh, okay, CSR is a very important element of the current uh, company organization. And basically, to make it simple, is basically we, the objective is you want to have a continued dialogue with a woman. Uh, and then uh, we, re we focus on respect the nature and also the people. Uh, the third one is actually we will leverage with some international organization to do the CSR program. So like a, a feed program, arthritis program, or even a tree planting program. So this is uh, what we, uh, the area we are focused on. Yeah. All right, perfect. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so the next question would be, um, what kind of CSR actions uh, Clarence implements here in Taiwan? Uh, basically, we focus on two because uh, we choose two. The first is a feed program. Uh, the feed program basically is providing meal to the children. And the idea basically is not only providing meal because we understand uh, to have to let our children to have education is really important to change your world because the children is the future of the world. So the idea is providing meal to uh, school. So that will be able for some, uh, you know, the poor family, they, they are willing to send the kids to, uh, to, to school for education. Mm -hmm. So we locally, we have the fee program uh, together with the international, uh, uh, international thing. So um, that is one thing we do is starting from 2016. And besides of that, we also call up with a local and uh, MPO program, uh, MPO organization. So we also provide, physically provide meal uh, to the rural area in Taiwan. So this is what we did. So this is a very important uh, activity we did every year. It's not only providing meal, but we also let our whole employee will join the action. So they're really involved in this program to feeling the spirit of this program. The second one actually would be arthritis. Arthritis actually uh, is, a, um, is, in, is a foundation that's basically to, uh, to finance the arthritis uh, research and, and to find out the reason of the disease and uh, trying to find a better set way of the therapy. And so we also did this starting from a few years ago. Uh, what we did is because arthritis it is something actually customer really doesn't know as. So we, we also work with the local uh, MPO uh, organization Together, uh, the objective is the first, we want people to understand more of this uh, disease. And second, actually, we also work with the, uh, this foundation. We provide some workshop uh, to work together with the patient to educate them, you know, show them how to take care of them, uh, what way they can relax them a, a little bit. So this is a major two program we are doing. Besides of that, we have a lot of small program like, uh, yes, we join the plant tree or actually we have like, a, uh, we in the in office we did some small thing like we use we don't using uh, we reducing the paper we reducing the uh, footprint uh, action that that all the thing but major one would be feed and arthritis. These are very interesting <laughs> actions. <laughs> yeah. So I would like to talk about uh, this time. It's pretty hard with the COVID nineteen situation. Um, did Clarence organize some actions uh, during this period? Yes, uh, we organized some. Uh, basically, during the COVID nineteen situation is a difficult situation. But so for the company, our first priority is really to ensure our employee uh, safety. Mm -hmm. Not only employee safety, also their family self safety and healthy. This is our number one uh, priority. Followed by, of course, we want to secure our customer. Mm -hmm. They are healthy and safety. And third one, actually, we want to uh, taking part of it to contribute our effort to the society. So this is basically the uh, key uh, framework we are working with. So for, for our employee, I think is we do something from very important but basic. Uh, we provide uh, all the hygiene necessary uh, supporting to them. Like all the, we provide them a mask, free mask. They can, they can change every day. We provide them actually alcohol gel. Uh, we provide them actually the, you know, some like a relaxing fried rice <laughs> accounting to make sure that during the top time everybody still can have a good mood. Uh, we ensure, and this is something we do, 
The second part should be ensure our employee, uh, we, we understand it under this period people could feel not secure. So we also, uh, um, we also reduce uh, the, you know, our target that company, uh, our sales target to our employee because uh, just to ensure actually they can have a, uh, they can keep their uh, income level at the same so not be impacted uh, by, uh, by the COVID-19. So this is to our employee. To customer, I think we did a lot, of, we did a lot of the first thing we need to do is really ensure that all the hygiene uh, the very high center of hydrogen at our counter level. We also communicate to our com uh, customer regarding what we did. Mm -hmm. So for them to understand, because everybody will get worried about whether I can come to counter. And importantly, we did something as uh, we do a no touch consultation. Because you know, normally face care, you need to touch your hand, touch your face, uh, but we have a protocol is actually no touch. So that means we still do consultation, but we are not going to touch you. Uh, but you can still learn all the things. So this is a protocol we do immediately. Uh, we, uh, anyway, ensure the hygiene protocol, everything. So this is to make sure our customer actually they feel safety to come to a counter. So in fact, it's working quite well. Regarding the society, this is an important thing. We do a lot of the discussion to see what we could do. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, the Taiwan actually doing quite well regarding the uh, hygiene material kind of thing. So considering actually all the healthcare uh, professional, they need to wear the mask all day long. Uh, they need, they have a sanitizer always like every, every few minutes. So which quite damaging to their face, face skin and hand. So we decided actually we uh, donate uh, the few thousand of uh, hand cream and our hydration facial mask for the healthcare professional during that period. This is, um, uh, the way the way is to um, make them still always still keep keep young and keep beauty. Uh, that's one purpose. But another purpose actually is also to show our um, gratitude to them because they are really the one protecting mm -hmm. us during the COVID nineteen. We we have a lot of appreciation. Uh, we want to share um, and to show to them. That is what we did actually during the COVID nineteen. Yeah, that's very important to keep people safe and also yes. comfortable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so important. thank you for that. Um, so last question would be, uh, what kind of advice would you give companies who would like to launch such projects in Taiwan? Uh, I think CSR actually, most of the company actually now they all run CSR program, uh, have a different uh, Prospect, you know, some uh, beach cleaning could be why, you know, planting tree and everything. So there's a plenty of a CSR program. My advice is actually no matter which type of CSR program, I really will highly suggest to have all the employee they can involve into it. So it's not only just a project, the company is advertising, talking to the consumer, but you know, uh, to let your own stuff and employee really participate because they were really feeling the difference of the program and employee will be the first one. Uh, they understand the, the idea and they will be the best ambassador to express this uh, to the society and also they will be the best ambassador because they will do it from the, by starting from their own. I think that will be a very powerful program. And this is what I would suggest. Uh, first is really to have all the employee they join. And this is what we did for the fee program. We, we receive a a very high and uh, um, positive feedback from our employees. They love, they love it, and they really feeling be proud of a participant with this CSR. They be proud of a company. They are proud of uh, themselves as well. And it's important. It's also very important. Actually, they feel uh, they know why they are working every day. So I think this is this is the first advice that I'm going to uh, share. I think second advice I would say um, just to focus on one subject and continue to do it because um, it's something you it's something that you cannot expect you have a immediately return but it's something actually is more uh, the company responsibility and it's something a long term long term commitment the company needs to make. The third one I think uh, the third one my suggestion would be uh, it's important actually all the uh, management team, they really support 
So I won't say it's a project. It's something is we really as a as a as a manager we really need to behave and believe in that. So it's some it's some, it, there's some education uh, you need to do internally as well. Mm -hmm. So that would be my three advice to the company if they want to uh, do CSL program. Yeah. Thank you very much for sharing all of that and thank you You're for welcome. your time. Thank you very much.